Okay, we're going to start with a circle and I'm going to make it 50. <clears throat> and then select it, move it, and hold the control key and move it. Release and make it uh, 250. 50, return. Okay. I'm going to select circle and I'm going to increase that to 150. Then this tool here, which is the offset curve. That was already selected, you see, so that's why it's offsetting already. I'm going to set this offset to 12. And the same on here, 12. And I'm going to use a tangent line. Put some tangent lines on. All those lines are at a tangent to the circles. And we'll press T for trim. Trim the bits out. We don't need. Then put some fillets in here. Uh, create rounded corner. Let's see now. We'll put 10. Radius tens in. Now, when you put one in, it automatically remembers that and gives you another one. Move close to it and it'll give you ten. There you are, ten. Ten. Now press the P for pull key and we can make this into a solid. First thing I can do is get rid of these surfaces that we don't need, so I'll just select the select tool, delete, delete, that's better, and that one. Select the other surface, and the pull tool, we've got the pull arrow, so I'm just going to type in 150, and we've got our first solid, and I'm going to call that Rename that. I rename Solid A. Now we need another solid at right angles to this one. So the only right angle we can do is put a plane, sketch plane in between these two centers. So we'll have the select tool, select that center, hover onto the surface of the inner bow here, control, select that center, and press the K key to get a sketch plane. Then the V key, orientated towards us. I don't want it vertical, I want it horizontal. But I want the smaller diameter on the left. The first thing I'm going to do is put a construction line in here through the center, center line. Now Design Spark finds the center of straight lines for us, puts a little rectangle in here, a little, sorry, a triangle, so we can find either side where the center is. There we are. Now, if we right click on it, the top here, we can set that as a mirror line. This means that anything we do on one side of the line is exactly repeated on the other side. So I'm going to hover on, or rather, we'll select the line tool. I'm going to hover on this point here and press the shift key. Now that gives me a temporary reference point to start drawing. So I can draw, say, 12 millimeters up from there. So I click and drag. So you see 
it's drawing a line below the center line as well. So I'm just going to put that about there and another one here. Another one there. Escape. Now I've got some sharp corners here. I'm going to put a few radii on there. Up here we've got create rounded corner. So I'm going to put a radius in here of 20. So it does that there as well. And similarly here, 20. Now that we've got this, we can use the offset curve and double click this line we've just made, which selects the whole thing. And we can offset it with another, which is exactly parallel, do it all the way around. So now we can put it down into the center. And T for trim, trim away things now. So what we have drawn now is if we turn off the solid, this is what we've drawn. Now it's open at the end, so we can close that. So this method has created like a fork structure, which is equ equally parallel all the way around. Equal radius, radii as well here. And all we've got to do now is to put some sort of radius in there. So again we select create rounded corner and we can, oh let's see, we'll put 10 in there. Now we've got a spurious pieces here so we can press T for trim, trim them out. So now we've got a fork structure. We need to make this into a solid. So P for pull. I'll say 200 for that. Got that, we're going to rename that. Solid B. Now that we've got our two parts, we can perform a kind of Boolean operation on these two. Now we've got the move tool. Like I select solid B, you see we can move this. So we want to combine the two here. But not merge them. That's why we gave them separate names. That prevents them from actually merging into one solid lump. Now we use the combine tool here. So select it. It's saying select a target object. Well, the target object in this case is going to be solid B. And then it's saying select a cutter object. Well, that's going to be the opposite one. Right now, you see what's happened? It's created a load of other solids here. Some of which we want and others we don't. Now, we've got a, like, a little block in the cursor. If you look at the cursor, it's a dark block on top of a 
transparent block get rid of that with escape key and move that's got rid of that now if we hover on these we see we're going to select them hover on them until we see the object that we want to keep now that's looking close yes I think that's it right so select that then the move tool and if we drag that part out there you are that's the bit we want and the select tool we can select that whole thing and the delete key gets rid of it H key and the next operation is to put some super little radii on these corners take the sharp edges off so for that we need the pull tool and make sure we've we're going to use the rounded corner so if we if we double click an edge it should highlight the whole thing yes we've got the rounded corner now I'm just going to type press 2 return let's put a nice little rounded corner on there and similarly here anyway double click let's turn all that one two we're going to leave the board edges sharp uh, here's another one double click two and this one this one down here I think that's all of them nope there's one last one two yes H now then final touch is to select the whole solid go to display color uh bronze might be nice bronze metallic finish high gloss and there it is beautiful bronze bearing fork hope that is useful to you hope you enjoyed it bye